Hello friends, so I thought I would write this productivity train today by coming to you with a, a library haul because I just went and picked up some stuff and I thought you might like to see what I did pick up. Uh, I'm going to try to make this fast because my camera battery is possibly dying, so. I am in a bit of a non-fiction kick at the moment, I guess, and I'm trying to balance it out with what I'm reading for college, so. You know, I thought I would get something nice and light and non-fiction-y with some beautiful illustrations. So I got Art Matters by Neil Gaiman with illustrations by Chris Riddell. I think Neil Gaiman has some really interesting things happening in his brain. I think this could be very inspirational and like nice little read. And I love Chris Riddell's illustrations. So thought I might just pick it up. I'm also doing a screenwriting course this semester, so I think it could be good pick-me-up for that. I'm reading pretty heavy things lately, or things that just really exhaust my brain, and thought I would need something light, especially now that the new semester has started and everything, so I got The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I read a bunch of books by Jennifer E. Smith a while ago, and I've never actually seen this edition of this one. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I think it's two people that meet in an airport? Possibly? No idea. I just expect really fast, really lighthearted, cutesy, contemporary romance, and I'm very excited. I also got A Leaf, The Unsin by G. Willow Wilson, and this is by the author of Miss Marvel, which you may or may not know is my favorite uh, comic book series at the moment and she's living Miss Marvel so I was very up in my feelings and wanted something else by her and my friend G adores this book. It was actually long listed for the Women's Prize for Fiction in 2013 and that's one of the uh, literary prizes that I feel like I usually get on with so that's very promising and I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it's about identity and race and religion and things. So this is a bit of a brain teaser, but I'm very excited. I think that the writing style is going to be great. I already know it has some themes in common with some of the volumes of Miss Marvel, and I just think G. Willow Wilson is such a solid writer and person. So, and then I have two books that I've already read, and as I was saying, nonfiction kick, I read In Search of Mary Shelley, The Girl Who Wrote Frankenstein by Fiona Sampson, and this pretty much a biography of Mary Shelley and I think it came out last year for the 200 year anniversary of Frankenstein. I have a weird ass fascination with Mary Shelley. So really wanted to read this, especially because I've been watching the biopic and reading uh, Monsters, which is a YA story of Mary Shelley pretty much coming out in February. So I wanted, you know, the facts and this was really good. It's not my favorite biography, but I feel like the biographer was invested and it didn't read as clinical or detached and yeah it's good it's good i would recommend it this is not a wrap up i don't know why i'm telling you that it's literally a biography of mary shelley and then i finally read the sleeper and the spindle by neil gaiman with illustrations by chris riddell once more uh i mentioned one book by them together already but yeah this is pretty much a reimagined fairy tale type thing and it's really dark and modernized and feminist and unexpected and it's fresh. Again, this is not a wrap up, why am I telling you that? Yeah, it's really fun and good and it takes some of those classic fairy tale elements. I think it's pretty much Snow White meets uh, Sleeping Beauty for this one and it flips them on their head and it's just, it's Neil Gaiman, you know? It's a good story, obviously, with intriguing characters. And again, the illustrations. Let me just look for one good one to show you because, oh, I love them. I love them. I also don't want to spoil you, so. I don't know. Can you see? Can you see? It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And that's everything that I have out at the moment. I have some more things in transit and everything. Uh, one that I'm actually listening to at the moment is The Monk, but I have the physical one coming from the library and that's again for one of my courses and it's wild to say the least. So that's kind of what I'm consuming slash about to consume that I don't own 
if you are curious. Thank you so much for watching and go support your local library because libraries are great. Bye.